Greetings. I'm Harvey Langholz, the Executive Director of the Peace Operations Training Institute, coming to you from our offices in Williamsburg, Virginia, in the United States. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to this installment in our webinar series. During these webinars, we bring you conversations with some of the leading figures in peacekeeping, peacekeeping training, and others around the world. These include commandants of national peacekeeping training centers, people from the United Nations, force authors, and others. And today, we are very pleased to welcome Mr. Paul LaRousse Edwards, the Executive Director of Canada. Canadam is an Ottawa-based, non-profit, government-related organization established in 1996 with funding from the Global Affairs Canada. Its main purpose is to bolster peace, order, and good governance efforts through connecting international agencies, including the United Nations, the OSCE, the OAS, and others, to civilian experts. Originally, Canada's national roster of civilian experts was Canadian only and is now the largest roster and screen list of international civilian experts worldwide. And Canada has decided to provide e-learning on peacekeeping to all its members. This has come through the, through the uh, National Training Center e-learning platform provided by the Peace Operations Training Institute. Under NTCLP, National Peacekeeping Training Centers and other organizations begin this process with a link on their own homepage. From there, their members can go to a POTI page where they see a greeting from their commandant, and after that, they enroll in any one of the POTI courses. They study the course, and if they pass their final exam, they're awarded a certificate of completion that bears the logo and signature of the of the partnering organization and with PLPI, and of course, in this case, with Canada. So I'm pleased to welcome uh, Canada's executive director, Mr. Paul Lewis Edwards. Uh, he has been involved in the international community for over 30 years. Uh, he's worked, uh, he holds a, an LLB and LLM in international human rights law, and from there he's uh, worked in a variety of missions in countries including Rwanda, Kosovo, Croatia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Indonesia, and Afghanistan. He's been on the staff with NGOs such as Amnesty International, uh, as well as on staff with the Canadian government and the UN Commonwealth Secretariat. He is consultant to the OSCE, the EU, and NATO. His most recent uh, diplomatic post was as representative of the UN High Commission for Refugees in Indonesia. He's a former Canadian Armed Forces Officer and a graduate of Canada's Royal Military College. He founded Canada in 1996 and is currently their Executive Director. So, Paul, I'm very glad to see you. Uh, welcome. Train experts, uh, you gave uh, a very fulsome description of what Canada uh, is. And the one thing I would add uh, is that a bit of our subtitle, we, we often refer to us uh, our role as strengthening the international community one expert at a time. And so now with uh, over 40,000 experts on our roster, we're delighted that we're now entering into an extended arrangement with the Peace Operations uh, Training Institute to enhance their skill set even more. And so this is a, a delight to be talking with you and, and a delight to be moving, moving forward on this project. Good, Paul. Thanks very much, uh, and I uh, appreciate your introduction of your organization. And I also have here a series of questions that have been submitted. So if you don't mind, I'll read them to you one by one. And here's the first question. Why does Canada suggest that your roster members take POTI courses? We recommend that all of our members to take these courses. So it was a great uh, first question uh, coming in on, on that side. Uh, obviously, every single one of the uh, training institutes courses is going to impart knowledge. Uh, and that in itself is a worthwhile endeavor. But probably more important from our perspective 
is that we are convinced that this is going to enable individuals to better perform and be more successful, not only in their current jobs, but also in future jobs. And, and this is truly the goal of training is to perform and have a greater impact in the field. So uh, this is why we're encouraging all of our people uh, to take your courses. Good, well thanks for that. And here's the next question. Some of the POTI courses are more geared for military peacekeepers. Why should civilians on the Canada Mafia take those courses? Uh, obviously, in many field operations, working alongside uh, or in parallel with the military is extremely important. They're a major component of a lot of what goes on in the ground. And so there's a value merely in knowing more about how the military operate and so to assist uh, in, in working alongside with them uh, at times. But also, there's uh, a a lot of you courses, the training that is being imparted to military are the kind of skill sets that are extremely valuable for civilians as well. And so we're going to encourage our members to take all of the courses, even though courses look like that they're initially geared uh, for military peacekeepers. Good. Well, thanks for that. And, uh, and I agree with you about the uh, gearing for civilians and, and military. Uh, here's the next question. Uh, will these courses cost roster members anything? Uh, no. Uh, first of all, uh, all of the courses will be, will be free to all of our members uh, uh, for free. And But the important point here is that uh, this is largely premised upon the Peace Operations Training Institute having over the years uh, come up with a system, a very cost-effective system, to provide all this training very inexpensively. Uh, and secondly, Canadam, and we've been aware of the uh, Peace Operations Training Institute for uh, almost several decades now, uh, we're highly impressed with your training. And so we have made the determination that from uh, going forward, we will find the funds for our emergency reserve to pay for this. And so, first of all, thank you to the Peace Operation Training Institute for coming up with a very cost-effective package, uh, and we're delighted uh, that we're in a position to find some funds of our own to pay for this. So, long story short, uh, this training is free for all of our uh, roster members, and we encourage them all to take your courses. Well, thanks, Paul, and uh, thanks also for pointing out that we do try very hard here at POTI to make these courses available just as economically as possible. Uh, and over 95% of our students enroll for free through one program or another, uh, either uh, sponsored by a grant from, uh, from the donor nation or through their National Training Center e-learning platform, uh, or through the uh, program uh, as you have now subscribed to. Uh, we really do try very hard to make these uh, courses available just as low cost, usually free. Uh, and even for that small percentage uh, that does pay us an enrollment fee, even that's very low. So uh, thanks for pointing that out, it's true. Uh, here's the next question. Uh, Canada is an NGO based in Canada. Does this mean that only Canadians can take part, part in this free training? Now, it is true that we started off as uh, largely a Canadian roster, roster of Canadians, but we departed from that many, many years ago. In particular, uh, we made a determined effort to recruit people from the Global South. And so at this point, uh, with 40,000 people on the roster, more than 60% are not Canadians, uh, for example, our African roster, we're now just tipping over uh, the level of over 5,000 Africans uh, on our roster. And so any nationality can be a member of our roster. And of course, any of the nationality uh, on our roster can take the POTI courses. And uh, so I think particularly for individuals from developing countries, where they may not have the uh, the depth or number of training institutions, uh, this is going to be a particularly uh, good initiative.
Yes, uh, thanks for that. And uh, Paul, it's the same here at POTI in terms of where our students come from. Uh, we find that roughly one third of our students are from Africa, one third are from Latin America, one third are from every place else. But the majority of them are from the developing nations. And of course, these are the nations that provide uh, such a large proportion of uh, peacekeepers, whether it's the UN, AU, or other missions worldwide. And we also uh, partner with uh, national peacekeeping training centers throughout these regions, Africa, Latin America, Asia. Uh, so the goal of both our organizations is to uh, provide this training um, worldwide, uh, especially to the developing nations that uh, need it and use it the most. Uh, next question. Um, uh, please provide some details about the POTI Canada partnership and course certificates. Uh, once again, I, I don't want to keep on praising the Peace Operations Training Institute too much, but I'm impressed at how uh, you have come up with mechanisms to customize uh, various parts of the training and also the certificate. And so, uh, for those on our roster who will be taking your, your, your courses, the certificate at the end of it, successful completion, uh, will be a joint certificate between POTI and Canada, uh, and both Harvey is going to sign it and I'll sign it. Uh, and so you'll have this joint certificate, and, uh, and it's nice that the POTI is, is allowing us to have that kind of joint support and, and indication that we are working together uh, on the training of experts. Okay, thanks for that. And here's the last question we have. How does POTI training work? And so the ease of using the POTI training is quite impressive. Uh, it's, uh, and this is uh, going to be, uh, I think, uh, my encouragement to all our roster members just go on to either our website or the POTI website. Uh, that's how you enter the training. Uh, you get to create your own personal account. Uh, and then you choose the courses that you want. You download the material. And at your own time, and this is really important, at your own time, uh, you decide how fast you want to take the course, study it, uh, take the quizzes, uh, and to take the final exam. So it really is at your own pace, as quickly or as slowly as you want, really easy to, to access this. And uh, once you're finished, then again, you get that joint certificate from Harvey and I. Uh, and now, Harvey, I may have missed out some points here, and there was one aspect about, first of all, the honor roll uh, that might be of interest to people, but also, uh, are there new courses that you're developing, or are you taking your courses and putting them into new languages? Thanks, Paul. Good question. We try to maintain a current and up-to-date curriculum here, and that really means two or three things at the same time. Uh, first of all, we try and remain abreast of current and developing topics in terms of what's happening with UN peacekeeping, EU peacekeeping, and others. And uh, we hope to release a course sometime soon on peace building. Uh, this will be a, a new course. However, with an existing curriculum of 29 courses in English, it's just as important that we maintain and update these. And we have an ongoing program for doing this. We recently uh, released an update to our CIMIC course. Uh, we recently uh, released an update to our uh, introduction at the United Nations course. Uh, we recently uh, released a, uh, an update to the Protection of Civilians course. Um, and it's just as important to maintain currency in the existing curriculum of 29 courses as it is uh, to develop anything new. And then the third area is our uh, development of courses in other languages. Uh, uh, our English courses are reasonably up to date. Um, uh, I forgot to mention also we hope we, we hope soon to release the release of, we hope soon to release an update of uh, DDR, Disarmament, Mobilization, and Reintegration, uh, and also an update of the conduct of humanitarian relief operations. Um, but back to the uh, translations, the English courses are reasonably up to date, and the French courses are reasonably up to date. 
we have a program now uh, to update the Spanish quotes. And some of those have been just a little behind in terms of the updating translations, and so we're going to be working on those. Uh, in addition, we have a smaller number of courses in both Arabic and Portuguese. Uh, those don't get quite as many enrollments, and therefore the, the, the curriculum is smaller, and they may not be as up to date as we would like, but we, we do our best uh, with all of these. So uh, uh, thanks for your good question about uh, our plans here and, and what we're doing in terms of our uh, curriculum. Uh, and it's just an ongoing process, because um, as things change at the UN, uh, and peacekeeping, we need to, we need to keep up uh, and, uh, and stay calm. So uh, I'm afraid that's all the time we have in terms of questions, but I invite you, Paul, if you have any uh, closing thoughts, please share them. Yes, uh, I, I think, once again, uh, I want to emphasize for all of our roster members that are listening how valuable these courses are, how helpful it's going to be. At times, these courses, and they should be, you should uh, enter them onto your resume, uh, and sometimes they will help you get jobs. But more importantly, they will always help you succeed in your job, which is in turn going to help you get other offers and other career opportunities out there. So I think this is a, a huge career enhancement uh, uh, initiative. Uh, this is going to strengthen uh, individuals' impact on the ground. And I want to salute uh, POTI for over the years having worked hard to keep this moving forward. I know you've got a great team behind you, Harvey. Uh, they're doing an excellent job. This has been impressive right from the beginning. But uh, at this point in time, uh, and I think, what is it, almost uh, 15, 20 years on for you, it, it, it's, it's really an impressive package, and I know that our members are going to enjoy taking the courses. Well, thank you for those kind words, Paul. Uh, yes, uh, we, I do have an excellent team uh, that gets the work done, they're dedicated, they're focused. And it's not just the team here, but it's the team of partners worldwide at National Peacekeeping Training Centers, uh, on UN missions, at Canada, and other places. Uh, it's a collective effort, and we're, we're all on that same team. Uh, we provide uh, 300 enrollments every day here, uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And a few months ago, we provided our 1 million overall enrollment. So um, I know there's a demand for this, there's a need for it. Uh, people recognize it, and it's our honor here to be able to fill that need and serve this community. So uh, thank you very much, Paul. Uh, we appreciate your time, expertise, uh, ongoing efforts for peace. We wish you and your colleagues uh, at Canada and your roster, and your roster members uh, continued success in your service of peace, and we are very pleased to partner with you. And to our students and viewers, thank you for your excellent questions uh, and for watching this webinar. This session will be archived on our website and available to you for future viewing. I'm Harvey Langholz, the Executive Director of the Peace Operations Training Institute. Thank you very much, and we look forward to your continued participation in this webinar series.